myself dr r r sanaf head and associate professor department of botany rao bahadur narayan rao boroke college rampur today i am going to deliver the lecture on the reproduction in pinus so it is a part of the syllabus of tybsc botany paper 4 that is bo334 and title of the paper is the spermatophyta and paleobotany which consists of the gymnosperms and geosperms and paleobotany so out of that this uh, in the gymnosperm there is a life cycle that is the life cycle of pinus in that today uh, i am going to talk on the reproduction in that the female cone of the pinus so here the pinus it is the monoecious plant and so the both male and female cones are developing on the same plant but on the separate branches so it is the monoecious and if we see the uh, their structure of uh, this uh, male cone on the shoot so it shows the presence of the uh, long shoot and the dwarf shoot so here on the so here this is the dwarf shoot and on this dwarf shoot here the male cones are developed so many male cones develops on this uh, dwarf shoot which show the presence of many the uh, leaves which are the needle needle shaped new leaves so commonly called as needles and uh, on the main uh, stem or on the long shoot here uh, it produces the female cone so this female cone it is generally three to four female cones they develop in the group and this female cone if we see after maturity it becomes hard woody and stony and thus here here these are the uh, pinus needles or the leaves and this uh, cone that is the female cone it develops on this main stem or may be called as the long shoot so this is the long shoot these are the uh, pinus needles here this is the male cone and here this is the dwarf shoot and this dwarf shoot and also this uh, long shoot they show the presence of many scale leaves so these are the scale leaves and uh, on the long shoot this female cone develops and this female cone uh, after maturity two to three years requires for its maturity later on it becomes hard woody and stony showing the many appendages so thus here this is the female cone now if we see the uh, internal structure or the ls of the ovule then in structure it shows the presence of the central axis so this is the central axis So it shows the presence of a short stalk. So this is the stalk with the help of which that female cone is get attached to the stem that is the long shoot. So thus this is the central axis and on that central axis here the many megasporophylls are arranged. So this megasporophylls 
mini megasporophylls they are arranged and this megasporophylls they show the presence of the two types of the appendages and these appendages these are called as the bract scale and the oviliferous scale So this here, uh, it shows the presence of such type of the ovuliferous scales. And at the base, there is an outgrowth and it is known as the bract scale. Actually, this ovuliferous scale, it is large broad appendage and at, at the base of it there is a presence of very small bract scale so thus here there is a presence of this bract scale so this bract scale it is present actually it get continuously attached to this central axis so this is the central axis on this central axis this uh, uh, megasporophylls are arranged. So these are the megasporophylls. And if we see this megasporophyll, it shows the presence of the ovules at its base. So generally, uh, this ovules, two ovules are present at its uh, base. But if we see in this uh, LS superficially we can observe the one but at if we see in the details in the open condition then this uh, there are two views which are present in the anotropous condition so this here these are the ovules and these ovules they are attached at the base of this oviliferous scale. Now if we see a single oviliferous scale, if we uh, enlarge it and if we see this uh, oviliferous scale, then its structure it is like this. So it shows the presence of the broad structure and this broad structure it is known as the apophysis. Actually it is the sterile portion it is flat and at the base of this ovuliferous scale here at the basal portion here the two ovules are attached. So this here these are the two ovules and it shows the presence of a short stalk with the help of that stalk here this uh, megasporophyll it get attached to the central axis so thus here these are the two ovules which are present in the anotrophous condition so thus here this expanded portion it is known as the apophysis uh, so actually it is called as the oviliferous scale so this is the oviliferous scale and this broad portion, it is known as the apophysis, which is the terminal or the apical portion. So thus here, this is the megasporophyll and this megasporophyll, it is having a short stock to ovules, ovulatory scale and such type of mini megasporophylls, they are arranged on this central axis and thus it forms a compact cone and if we see uh, that cone in the matured condition then its structure 
it is looking like this so here it is showing the mini megasporophylls which are the uh, showing the wavy outline and it is hard woody and stony so in the general appearance in the entire condition this cone it looks li like this so thus here this is the female cone after maturity it becomes hard and hard woody and stony so these are the mini megasporophylls this is the cone uh, stalk of the cone and at the central axis is present and on it the mini such type of megasporophylls they are arranged spirally so this is the mature female cone of the pinus now if we see this uh, ovule so uh, I, as i told you at the base of the ovuliferous scale two ovules are present and if we see the uh, internal structure of this ovule then it shows the presence of the different parts now let us see about the internal structure of the ovule so this ovule uh, if we see the longitudinal section of the ovule then it shows the presence of the different parts so it shows the uh, presence of the nucellus so this nucellus it is present in the center so this is the nucellus so this nucellus actually it is the parenchymatous tissue and this nucellus it get covered by the presence of the three layers and these three layers that is the so this is the middle layer sorry this is the innermost layer then outside to this there is the middle layer and outside to this there is the presence of the outermost layer so this here this uh, the uh, ovule of the pinus it is having the the three layered integument so this here the, this is the outermost layer outer layer of integument this is the middle layer and this is the inner layer so here the outer and middle layers they are fleshy innermost layer it is somewhat hard and stony so it as i told you it show the presence of at the center there is a presence of the parenchymatous tissue and that tissue it is known as the nucellus so this nucellus it is the parenchymatous tissue and this integument they covers the uh, nucellus at all sides keeping a small opening at the apex and that small opening or pore which is present at the apex it is known as the micropyle so this is the micropyle so it is nothing but a small pore or opening present at the apical portion and 
below this uh, micro pile, so this micro pile it opens below, there is a forming a small chamber, it is known as the pollen chamber. So this is the pollen chamber. So this pollen chamber, it is very important when the pollination, it takes place, when the pollen grains or microspore, they falls on this uh, opening or uh, at the mouth of this micro pile, that, that pollen grain, they falls and comes in this pollen chamber. And that's why it is known as the pollen chamber. It is nothing but a small cavity which is formed <coughs> uh, just near to this new cellus. And below it, there is a presence of, in the nucellar tissue, <coughs> there is a presence of the female gametophyte. So just here, this is the female gametophyte. So this female gametophyte, it is present in this uh, nucellus or this nucellar tissue and this uh, female gametophyte it shows the presence of the two archegonia so this here there are two archegonia are present in this female gametophyte so these are the archegonia two archegonia are present and below it here this uh, pollen uh, chamber it opens below near about this archegonia and when the pollen grains they germinate later on this pollen grains they form the pollen tube this pollen tube later on it comes in contact with the archegonium that is the female reproductive organ where there is a presence of the female gamete or the egg so here there is the presence of the egg or the female gamete and during the fertilization when this uh, male gamete is formed after the male gametophyte so generally uh, when the pollen grains they falls in this pollen chamber so at that time the male gamete nucleus it already divides and then later on the next development of <coughs> the male gametophyte it takes place here later on pollen grain they germinates on the pollen tube it carries the male gamete and then that male gamete with that pollen tube it comes with this female gamete that is the egg and thus here the fertilization is taking place so thus here this is about the uh, this uh, female gametophyte so later on this uh, uh, to this developing egg or embryo here this new cellus it provides the nutrition or food material and here below it here this is the stalk or maybe called as a funicle or the stalk of the ovule and with this ovule this uh, uh, sorry, with this funicular stalk, this ovule it get attached to the uh, part of the megasporophyll. So this here, this is about the internal structure or LS of ovule of the pinus having the funicle nucellus, which is the parenchymal tissue covered by the integument, which are uh, showing the three layers: outer, middle, and inner. And here there is a presence of a chamber or cavity called as the pollen chamber which later on it opens near the uh, this archegonia here this is the female female gametophyte in which the archegonia are present so this is about the ls of ovule or the internal structure of ovule of pinus so thus this is about the female cone of pinus then megasporophyll then the structure of ovule now here I am going to conclude, thank you very much.